Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to walk you through stepwise implementation of item based collaborative filtering in Python. So I had covered the theoretical parts of collaborative filtering in my previous videos, the link for which you can see here. I will just walk you through stepwise process of implementing collaborative filtering in Python. Okay, So let's start. Now in the first step if you can see here I am importing some of the packages that I will need for example pandas, numpy and I am just you know suppressing the warnings ok. After that what I am doing is I am taking the data I am just taking the data from a website called group lens. So this group lens website gives you data the date the name of this data is movie lens ok. So this movie lens data has movie id you know user id and rating that a user has given to a movie and the timestamp when the user has given that rating to that, to that movie ok. Now if you go to this website here you will see there are different data sets here. So this is the same website I have opened here. So there are different data sets. So I have taken 100k zip this file I have taken from here. So this file has 100k you know ratings and movies data in it. So if I take this here. I have read that data and I am taking u dot data which is the main data of that if you download this you know zip file you will have a file called u dot data in that and from that file you can read that data. So I am reading that data and the data looks like this ok. So in this data you have user id which is nothing but you know uh, customer id or user id like you and me item id is nothing but movie in this case then comes the rating ok. So this user has given 3 rating to this movie 196 user has given 3 rating to 242 movie ok. Moving forward all these movies are you know in terms of some IDs. So what I have done is I have taken the respective movie names and that I have taken from a file called movietitles.csv. That file also is available on github so I will put that file also in my google drive when I upload the code. I am reading that file and once I read the movie name file and I join with my original you know data frame I get the movie names also. So this is how my data looks like now user id which is you know you uh, customer id or user id like you and me item id rating timestamp and title of the movie right. So this is what I have written here the id of the user the item these things. Moving forward what I have done is in the next step in data exploration I have seen the basic statistical features of the movie or of the data. So if we see here we can see user id, item id, what is their count, different percentiles and maximum. So I want you to focus on this rating column. So rating column we have since it is a 100k data so 100k different entries in the data and then the mean rating out of 5 is 3.52 ok this is the mean rating and the maximum rating is of course 5. Some people have rated 1, some have rated 2 but the mean rating is 3.52 ok. This is some of the basic statistical feature of the data right. Now what I have done here is I have created a data frame called ratings where I want to capture the mean rating for all the movies. For example this movie till there was you would have been rated by n number of users. So what is the average rating of this movie by those n number of users. So I have taking a group by and taking the mean. So now I have a rating database. So this movie's average rating is 2.3. Similarly, what I have done here is I want to see which movie is rated how many times. Okay. So it is quite possible that a famous movie would be rating so many times, but a non-famous movie will not have those many ratings, right? So what I am doing here is I am taking the ratings count, how many times the movie have been has been rated. Okay. So that is what you can see in this column here. Having seen that. What I want to see next is I want to I am just trying to do some plot here as a part of EDA and want to see what is the distribution of rating and number of ratings. So you can see this joint plot here this is known as a joint plot C bond joint plot ok. So on this joint plot on x axis I have rating and on y axis I have number of ratings. So as I told you ratings will vary between 1 to 5 right 5 being the highest and 1 being the least rating number of ratings so many movies have zero ratings if you can see this histogram here so many movies have zero ratings which means nobody has rated those movies and then as we go like more numbers higher numbers 100 and more less movies have been rated by more number of users ok. 
so this is a joint plot between this histogram is for rating so rating starts from 1 and goes till 5 so very less movies have got 5 you know rating and more movies have got rating around 3 or 2.5 3.5 in this range similarly for this histogram and this tells you the density of rating against number of ratings so more density is around 3 3.5 and less number of users have rated each particular movies that is the conclusion from this graph okay moving forward what i have done is i have created something called user item interaction matrix now this is one very important concept that i was discussing in my theoretical explanation all the time so what this matrix tells is this matrix tells how what is the relation between individual users and individual movies so if you can see here on the x axis we have on the index we have user id so these are different users 1 2 3 4 5 and these are different movies right so if we can see here two that means user 1 has rated this movie which is dalmatians rating 2 okay and user 1 has rated the angry man rating 5 so that is what this matrix tells us now one thing to note here is lot of entries in this matrix are nan or blank the meaning of that is all the users do not go and rate all the movies right and hence these nans are there so how i have created this matrix simply by taking the pivot table of my original data frame okay so now i have this table now what i am doing here is i am creating a rating so the rating data set which i had created before i am just sorting it to see which movies has highest number of ratings so star wars 1977 has highest number of ratings okay similarly i want to see which which movies has highest number of rating the reason i want to see that is because i want to make recommendation on one of these movies because i want to make recommendation on some movie which is famous so obviously the movie which has more number of ratings will be a famous movie so from this list star wars contact fargo return of jedi from this list i am taking a sample movie fargo okay and i'll try to make the recommendation for this movie fargo so what i am doing here is as a next step i am re making recommendation example movie is fargo okay so what i am creating is i am from the movie matrix that i created above i am taking the fargo data separately okay so this fargo user ratings will have the rating of movie fargo by different users okay so this is how you can see it so user 1 has rated fargo 5 and similarly okay now once i have this data what i will do is i will go and see which movies are similar to fargo movie on the basis of rating now this is really important guys fargo has been rated in a particular way by the users so which are the movies which have been rated in the similar way by other users so what i am doing here is i am computing a correlation of the original data with fargo rating which means fargo ratings will be one column and one correlation will be calculated with all these movies okay so if you come here i am just creating a correlation matrix here with the function cor with okay so i'll get similar to fargo so these movies are similar to fargo whatever is listed here till there was you 1900 1, 101 dal dalmatians 12 angry men 187 so these movies are similar to fargo with these correlation numbers now obviously we can see some negative correlation here negative value here because correlation value can range between minus 1 to plus 1 but what we are interested in we are, we want to make the most meaningful recommendation so how i do that i will just go and create a threshold for minimum number of rating so what i want to do is i want to recommend the movies which are beyond a certain number of ratings okay so what i am doing here i am just creating a pandas data frame of the above created you know output of similar to fargo okay and then i am bringing in the ratings number of ratings column from the ratings data set that i had created before so what i will have is i will have correlation of fargo with all these movies with number of ratings okay number of ratings for this particular movie so what i will do next i will just put a filter on this column so that is what i am doing i am saying give me the movies in recommendation only if that movie has number of ratings more than 20 when i do that i see smiles like yours a 1997 has a correlation one with fargo and number of ratings is 25 
Fargo itself obviously will have one correlation. This is not meaningful. Fargo we cannot recommend against Fargo. So the third option is House of the Spirit 1993 correlation value is 0.70 and number of ratings is 24. Similarly, if you want to increase or decrease the threshold, you can do here. So I want to see only the movies for which number of ratings are more than 30 now. So the best recommendation for Fargo will be Apes Bios this movie. Okay, 64 number of times it has been rated. So this is how item based recommendation system works at high level guys. So just to reiterate the main points, reading the data, creating, doing some EDA and then this is the most important step creating the user item interaction matrix and then we have computed the correlation of one particular movie against all other movies and then we have seen which movies are more similar to the movies. So this is how item item correlation or item item quality filtering works. There is another version of you know a memory based quality filtering known as user based recommendation system where we create which users are close to other users and then we make the recommendation. If you want me to create a separate video on user based recommendation system, let me know through comment. I will just create a separate video and post it on YouTube. Also, if you want to get this code, I will definitely put it in my Google Drive and give you the access. So if you have any comments, any doubts, just write me in the comment section. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, stay safe, take care.